Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about system restore and system reset feature on Windows and some of you have not been able to use it because of the issues that have been going on. So today we are going to fix it. Uh, so usually you will use system restore or system reset in order to fix something that has gone very wrong on your computer and system reset will clear out all the data on your computer and make it so your operating system starts with starts from scratch. So make sure you use these uh, features wisely and if you are not able to use the feature, we are going to fix it today. So the first step you need to do is uh, something that has been recommended from Microsoft itself. So if you go to your page, they have something called SFC and that is something of a system file checker tool. So basically the recovery or reset will not work for you if there is something in the windows that is not working or if there's something that is corrupted. So this command from Microsoft will help you figure that out. So you can copy this command from the description SFC space slash scan now and then you need to open your PowerShell admin. How you can do it is search for PowerShell and then run as administrator. Once you have the PowerShell administrator open up, you need to type the command SFC space scan now and click enter. This will start the scan. It will take some time and once it is complete, it will automatically scan for the things that need to be fixed and fix it. So this is the first step that you need to do. Wait for it to be completed before going to the next step. All right. So as you can see that the verification is 100% complete and windows did not find any integrity violations so if there were any violations it will fix it and then you will be able to use your restore or reset and in case you are not able to use it don't worry we have another solution so next what you need to do is go to your powershell again and then write this command called dism online cleanup image scan health this is another command that is provided by microsoft itself it is a deployment image servicing and management tool so it will help your uh, features that are from windows uh, that are part of windows to be integral so make sure that they the integrity of those features have not been uh, disturbed so it will just scan the health of the features and files and make sure that everything is on order so you need to run this command this will take another few minutes and once it is complete we'll go to the next step all right so as you can see there is no corruption detected so that is a good thing if you have something that is corrupted in your windows file system what you need to do is run the next command called dism online clean image restore health make sure you also add the slashes you can find the command in the description so you can use this command to restore the health of the corrupted files and make sure that everything in your operating system is running as expected so this was the next step after this you will be able to use the recovery and reset agent so finally if even this does not work you can specifically go to the problem and see what's happening so the last step that you need to do is you need to run the reagent c info command so what is this command i will go to microsoft itself the reagent c command line is something that is used to set up and understand the windows recovery environment this is the environment and tools that you're using to recover and reset windows so by running this command you're making sure that everything is enabled as you can see my windows re status is enabled and everything is looking good in case it is not enabled what you have to do in the next step is run the same command but instead of info you have to write enable so this will make sure that the agent is enabled and you are able to use the recovery agent so this is how you enable the recovery agent and now if you go to reset the windows you will be able to see the tool will be working fine and everything is in order finally if you want if you are not able to use the ui tool to reset the windows what you need to do is run the reset from the command line so here you can see that there is a command called system reset hyphen hyphen factory reset this is a command that will help you reset your computer using the command line but make sure that you want to use this feature and you have a backup of all your data before you run this command so you want to make sure that before you run the command you have a complete backup of all your files and this command will definitely remove everything from your computer including all the data and the pictures and music and then 
it will reinstall the windows like it is new so these are all the commands that you'll need to proceed further i hope this video helps if it helped please like the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to stay updated with the latest content till then have a good one guys